Welcome back to The Witness. I managed to solve the first and second part of this whole uh, temple business with Sun Glare being the main mechanic and seeing the kind of nonsensical like grooves in the puzzles. It really doesn't make any sense why this would have like scrape marks or whatever because it's not like you scrape it, do you? But I guess maybe you do. But yeah, we unlocked the way down, deeper into the tomb, in the underground. Oh god. And now we're fully, fully under underground. No window in sight. And I guess we're just gonna keep going even further. Oh, well that's a simple one, even further down. Oh, oh I see, that's, that's a clever one. So it's mirrored, so it's actually here. Oh yeah, there you go, you can even like see it. Okay, clever. Still the same sort of mechanic, but just a slight iteration on it. Some kind of weird, like, vault over there, maybe. Here's just the other door. And yeah, we can probably find, like, many different ways to reflect things in these puddles. So right here, yeah, I mean, this is simple so far. It's very simple. So it's... wait. Uh, no. Shit, right, it's not... it doesn't... oh god. It doesn't reflect, like, up and down, it's only, uh, no, uh, left and right, it's only up and down. So, shit, nope. This way, and then out there. And that takes us to this one. Is it over here now? Yep, it is. So, that's this one. And then up, this way, and there we go. Yeah, simple so far. This one here. Seems a little trickier. Aha! Sneaky. So where does it go? There? It starts there. And goes all the way there. Alright. Oh man, this is kind of a hard one to uh, keep track of. Yeah, I don't think I can... I, I need to just, like, remember it. So it starts here, right? And then goes up, left, down, and just does the, the Pac-Man. So it starts here. Wait, up right, and then Pac-Man, and then down here. Yeah, that's a, a tricky one, kind of hard to see. And we have one left here. Is this one going to have a different mechanic as well? Or is it just like over here? Yeah. It's just there. So we go down the like half moon, then Pac-Man, and then... This seems easy enough. Wait, and we start at the top. Yeah. So there... Oh god, which direction was it? This one? Down there, Pac-Man, and then out like that? No. This would be the bottom. So don't I start at the top? If I do... Oh, stop. If I do like... Jesus, it's so hard to control these. If I do that and then get out... Yeah, that's at the top. Yeah, exactly. So we do start at the top. But then we go down here, is it? Wait. No. Yeah, it was like I was doing. Okay, so you go down all the way, up into the center, down again, up the side, and then out. Didn't I do that? Up, down. Oh. I think I just did it like the opposite way for some reason. Man, I don't know. Something about the mirroring there threw me off. And that's just that. Another chamber completed, and we go further down into the the underground. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What do you do? What, what did you do? You're draining the water. So we need to get the glare to happen, like, at specific points, like right there. Stop? Can you 
stop or no? Which one even would that be? Would that be this one? I guess so. Okay, we have this one at least. Oh god, stop. Jesus Christ. It is so hard to control, like, the drawing in these. That just keeps draining. Does it... Can you stop it from doing that? If I do that and start racing the water... Like, you can't just tell it, stop doing that. Can you? No, it just it just goes. You have to just have it. Either fully drained or not drained at all. Which is a little bit annoying. Especially since it takes so long to, to do this. Oh my god. This is just getting more complicated. I mean, in that case, I, I do want it to be drained. I just need to, like, understand this. It's so hard for me to wrap my head around the mirroring for some reason. Like, it mirrors up and down, but not left and right, so... It starts at the bottom, then goes, I guess, left and across? There we go. Alright, yep. And then this one, shit, that's already drained too far, so we need to, like, get that up again. Yeah, I could see it before. Starts there, goes up, and across. So, like, this? Yeah, okay, alright, good. This one, where do I get that to glare? Right there. Kind of. It's a bit hard to see. Is it just a cross? So the top... It can't be that simple, right? Like there? No. Is there more here? It's really hard to see. Maybe there's some better way to... See it somewhere else. It's not very intuitive figuring out like where the thing will have a glare that you can see. It's like only here, but it's so hard to see. How does this go? Am I even seeing anything at all? Maybe I'm just imagining that I'm seeing like this this line stronger. Hmm. And I don't know if I need to, like, look at any while it's draining and that's why it's so slow. If it's not just when it's at the top or at the bottom, which is, would make this kind of a lot more tedious and annoying. Because that just means, like, you only have a small window to even know when the glare happens. Or, like, you wouldn't even know. You just have to, like, find that short window where it actually glares while it's draining or filling, which is not that easy. Again, it just doesn't feel like very intuitive with how the light works, like how can you tell when it would glare? That just glares there for some reason. Wouldn't this glare like here then or something? But it, it doesn't. Just running around in the hopes of seeing a glare, but I'm not. There's something. Wait. That can't be it. No. It's also kind of hard for me to see. My eyesight is not very good. And I'm really confused by this one. I just don't seem to see any glare happening on this at all. 
except just like this line seemed a little thicker for me, but that doesn't seem to be it. Nope. Yeah, I'm not like 100% enjoying this right now. This is not one of my favorite puzzles. So I, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna want to continue with this forever until I figure it out. I, I just don't understand this one. If it's somewhere in between here, how the hell would I know? I also don't know what this one is about. And there's like a lamp over here that doesn't even seem to be shining. This one. Do I need to turn that on before I can see the glare here? That would be super unintuitive. Also, wait. I didn't even see this. Wait, wasn't there a door here? I thought there was a door. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit stumped on this one, and it doesn't really feel that great to me. Like, this puzzle sequence... Especially with his water draining. If you could just like direct the light where you wanted it or something, it would be... It would make a lot more sense. Also, on the topic of like backseating essentially, honestly, if I ever run into something where I actually do want help, like I'm kind of debating it on this one, Chances are, I would probably be already, like, ahead of this part by the time you actually see this episode. So, if it's anything I need help on, I'm probably just gonna, like, actually look up a walkthrough if, if I can't figure it out. But that's the thing. With this game, I guess there's no need to complete this right now. I could just leave it, even though it's not like I don't understand this puzzle and should just learn elsewhere. This is just something I, I just don't see where where you're supposed to get the proper perspective from. So, this wouldn't really help by, like, getting more time and just trying it out later. It just feels like... I just have to, like, find the perfect spot, or just look it up, because I, I just don't have any clue. I just feel like there's something weird where, like, we don't have enough light, and I need to turn on the light, but I don't know how to do that. Like, with this one, that doesn't make sense either. Or maybe this lamp turns on, and that's how you see the glare on this one, so you can solve it. If so, then how do you turn on this lantern, if you can? Is it this line? Hold on, let me check that. It does go there. And then where does that line go? Is it that line? Yeah, there, up here, down to this one. It's kind of part C. Is it down to that one, or is it down even more? Yeah, I can't help but feel like it would be a really sneaky one, like in here or something, but... I just keep imagining that I'm seeing lines, but I don't feel like I'm actually seeing lines. Yeah, okay, so this goes in here, and it's basically what I'm working on. Yeah, I just have to complete two more puzzles, and then that lamp will turn on, which is probably how you solve this one. So, I just don't know what to do here. I don't know how to see the glare on this one. And there's also this puzzle, which is just here, for some reason. No, that's, that's the last one. That just opens the gate. So this one I definitely just wait with wait until I, like, turn on the light proper, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little frustrated by this one. I just don't feel like this one is very intuitive with, like, how you can reflect the light to get the glare you want. It just kind of feels like trial and error. You just... This happens to just have the glare, I guess, but how would you know that? Because it's, it's shining down there? Okay, sure, but then, like... How could you possibly get glare on this one if it's shining, like, down to the right, sort of, there, with this angle? Like, it's not... It's angled towards it, but then wouldn't this be the glare right here, where I'm standing? I don't know. It's really... 
unintuitive to me. Oh, wait, this is, this might be something. That might be the key right there. Hold on, if we, if we drain the water again, and I just stand here, because at least here I can, like, see that there is a glare happening. If I can just get that. Oh my god, that is so hard to see. What is that? Is that the path? Is that, like, a U-shape? It's really hard to see. I think it's a U-shape that starts here and ends there. Is it? So it would start on the right? It's not. Wait, it, did I just have that wrong? No? Good lord. Well, this, this feels like I'm getting close at least, but... Let's see if I can spot it again. Again, this, this part is kind of tedious with having to just find the perfect window of the water draining or filling that one, like, two-second window where you can, like, actually see the proper path. But isn't it that? It starts there, goes down, around, and then ends top left, it would be? Didn't I do that? It's not that. Why is it not that? How does that make any sense? What am I not understanding about this, uh... This re Oh, reflection business. How else would it be reflecting? Is it because... Wait, this... The... The point closer to me is the... The bottom. Right? Oh, so it goes up. So it's on the left and it goes up. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think that's what it is. So, here. Finally. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know about this one. It makes sense, but it's just, I don't know, it feels a little too overly tedious to find these, like, perfect reflection spots for me. Now, though, how can we do this one? Where do you even, do you even see this one reflected anywhere? No, there's, there's a reflection. And of course there's also like a bunch of ruin blocks and stuff preventing you from seeing the, the reflections sometimes. I basically just have to like run around until I see a glint somewhere. Right there. Right there. Yeah. So it starts at the bottom, right, goes up, and then zigzags down. I can't even do it here. Which, which direction was it? It was like this, but the other way, I guess. Yeah, okay. Holy crap. And that turns on the light here. Oh, and I can see it already. Does it go from here? I mean, that one is easy at least. That's good. But what did that do? Did it even do anything? It hardly even seemed like anything happened. And now I guess it's just this one left. And we just have to get some light on this thing. Once again... Oh, wait. I, I'm not looking at the uh, reflection. That's probably what I should be doing. Not the actual thing. So let's lower it again. See if I can find a reflection. Or, like, see in the reflection at some point. If there's a glare. Yeah, my, my main issue with this one is just the, like, trial and error aspect and unintuitivity of it. I just don't feel like it's all that intuitive of where you should be standing to get the thing happening. And also, what the hell? I'm just, like, seeing half of it. How can I... How can I get the rest of it from here? 
think I need to race it again. Yeah, this one is tricky. Like, what else do I do? I don't have any more lamps to turn on. I still don't know what that even did. I'm just gonna, like, start taking screenshots because I can't remember. I can't, like, memorize all this. But, yeah, like, sure, I have that, but what do I do with that? I need more than just that tiny bit. Yeah, rather than screenshots, I think this might be the time for MS Paint again. So let's just, like, take... Oh, I don't know why it says screenshot when you press print screen, but I do want to just actually print screen. And then I guess open up MS Paint. Because I'm, I'm assuming you have to be able to see the solution elsewhere, so... I should probably just, like, note this down, this portion, this middle portion. And now I need to find somewhere else where it reflects. And again, that is the tedious part because it could be it could be right here, but maybe it's only like at a very, very specific water level point. That's the thing. You have no way of knowing that. It might be right here. Should I just stand here the entire cycle and see what we get? I guess that's what you're meant to be doing here. Or maybe here? No? Can't really- wait. Wait, did I just see something? Hold on. Did I see a light glare? Oh my god, I do! So screenshot that too. Jesus Christ. At least this one is, like, at the top. So that makes more sense. So it's, like, at the, uh... The end. That's the very final thing. You go out here and... Okay, yeah, let's MS Paint it again. Honestly, I probably need to bring out the big tools, the Photoshop, for this, because I just don't know... I can't keep all of this in mind at the same time. I need, like, layers and cropping and... I don't know. I guess it would be easier to just do this in, like, a proper notebook, but I, I can't be asked doing that. I'm gonna try with this method. You know what, fuck it. it. It probably actually is easier to do this with a notebook, so let me do that. So this is basically a 5x2 grid. And then the end is at the top left. That's guaranteed. And we have that path from the end. Dude, I need like a marker or something more than just a pencil. I, I need to be able to mark the actual path. So that goes on the diagonal. Then up. Then the diagonal again. Alright, I have that part, I think. And it also starts from the top right. I'm just gonna, like, mark that as well. Oh boy. So now we lower this again and try and... I'm gonna MS Paint this screenshot just so I can, like, study it and draw from it. Because I guess this is the middle part then. Yeah, right here. Just print screen that. And let's just go out and paste this. Okay, so we have that part. Zigzags. Okay, and then it goes across here. Across the middle horizontally. Then it goes uh, up again. Then... I don't know if it goes, it goes diagonally down to the middle again, but does it go all the way down? I guess we need to find another look point to look at with that, and that's going to be a challenge. So, boy, there's going to be some heavy cutting in this one. Some real heavy cutting. Where could I even see that last portion? 
Because I, I assume you don't have to just guess that last point. I mean, I have a couple guesses. There's only so many possible options, so it would probably be quite easy to just, like, get this done, but that doesn't feel right. Is it here? Oh, wait, wait. No? No, I'm not really... Not seeing anything there, so that doesn't seem right. Like, when would the light hit the rightmost point? Here? Wait, where even is the, uh... It's over there, the reflection. Oh god, wait, can I see it there? No. No, I can't see it there. I'm tempted to just brute force it and just trial and error that last part. Because, yeah, you're, you're probably not seeing, like, 60% of this. I'm just... I've been at this for so long, and I just can't find a path where this one, or a point where this one is shown. Like, this last bit is always in shadow, and I can't make the glare happen there. This seems like the most logical spot for it, but that doesn't seem to be true. That's not where it is. It's always in shadow. Yeah, I think, I think fuck this puzzle. I think this is the stupidest puzzle in the game so far, according to me, so let's just, just work it out. So it's either, from here, it has to either go like this to this point, and then we know the rest, or like this, and then we know the rest, or like this, and then we know the rest, or something like that. So let's just try this, I guess. Stop. So it would be this, and it is that. Seriously, I don't know if there's another point for that, but this is genuinely the worst puzzle in this entire game for me at this point. I hate this section. I've liked pretty much everything else in this game. This, I think, was just stupid. It was tedious, it was unintuitive, and it's just like seemingly didn't even have a proper solution. But I'm probably just missing something. But seriously, this just was not good, in my opinion. Anyway, there we go. I guess I beat it. Do I feel accomplished? Not really. Am I frustrated? You bet I am. But we can continue on. And honestly, maybe I should just leave this for now and go somewhere else that isn't as frustrating. Because if this, if this keeps on going, I don't know, maybe there's more puzzles here. Maybe it's the very end now. Guess we'll take a little quick look in next time. But if there are more puzzles here, they might be even worse. And I don't know if I can handle that. We'll see. Good lord. Thanks for watching, I guess. I'll see you next time. This was not a good time. Bye-bye.